Hi guys and welcome to Peter Ray's Adventures. Welcome to the latest video. It's Monday 10 past 1, so 1.10 p.m. Wanted to get out a bit earlier to Kingston upon Thames to do a bit of um, filming and Christmas shopping for example but had, had a window um, to do photographs so I thought I'd do some eBay photographs first and then go out to Kingston upon Thames. So it's a nice day, it's very windy, so what I'll do, I'll probably speak to you when I'm out on Kingston upon Thames doing the vlog. I'll see you in a bit. So what I'm doing now is walking past the William Bourne, my local pub, about what, eight minute walk, if that. They've got the outside area with the football on. Inside there, it's quite nice, William Bourne. Um, oh, it's very windy today. Just going to get the 71 bus from um, the tops over there. Before I forget to say, just what I'll be doing in Kingston, as well as Christmas shopping and checking out the markets, Christmas markets, etc., is going around the charity shops. So I get some footage of charity shops in Kingston upon Thames. Oh, they are quite expensive, the um, charity shops, but hey ho. Um, just over there is where I get the bus from, 71 bus. First um, charity shop done. Um, picked up some manga books. Oh, top it down here. Ah, let's have a look. I'm here. Brook Street. And you go up to the church, Guild Hall, Rose Theatre, show on later. Quite a few good places. And then you got the Riverside. The um, River Thames, this is like, like London, Kingston Bridge, going to Hampton Court. So, bigger place here, we are here. So, what I do, I go to another charity shop, British Heart Foundation, I'll see you in a bit. Right, this is the Eden Walk. You go down this way. Um, that's right, it was developed. Uh, 66, phase one, phase two, 79. There we go. Uh, British Heart Foundation, pop in there, and I'll show you what it got. I'm now inside the British Heart Foundation charity shop, Kingston upon Thames. I found the ashes. It's a UK based joke that we find the ashes in a lot of charity shops around the UK. <laughs> joke about it. Um, it's a very overpriced charity shop the British Heart Foundation in Kingston upon Thames most of them are in the UK these are games PC games PS2 for example and DVDs quite overpriced didn't really buy anything I was showing you around the whole store this is the only charity shop I really got any footage in because it got dark quite quickly I did have lunch um, in a Weatherspoons, the King's Ton Weatherspoons, spent a couple of hours in there. When I got out, it was dark. Whoops, a daisy, and a couple of pints as well, and a bite to eat. But I'm just showing you round to see what I find. So, what do you think I found? In the anything in the Blu-rays, DVDs, games, whatever else I have in there. Lots of other bits and pieces as well. They're quite overpriced. Oh, I did get this Grand Theft Auto 3 PS2 game for 
So I started off with DVDs and Blu-rays, went onto the books. In this clear case, they were quite expensive, didn't pick anything up. I brought this Grand Theft Auto game for one ninety nine, and they had manga books, a load of row of manga Japanese anime books for £3, too expensive. I paid £1 each for 10 so that's £10 in cancer research for manga Japanese anime books. Here, I couldn't see anything worth decent money, not that I could see anyway. Showing you here all the manga Japanese anime books, £3 each, wasn't going to pick any of them up, too expensive. Hello! Now as you see me, I pop round the rest of the charity shops, like the clothing areas, the women's handbags, the jewellery, the women's shoes, just to show what they have in the British Heart Foundation, Kingston Pond Thames, and what their prices are actually like. For example, a bag for five ninety nine, not really worth that much. Anyway, women's clothing items. Um, what else have we got here? Um, men's clothing items as well. I think this one was like four ninety nine reduced from eight ninety nine, something like that. Four forty nine. Still not worth it though. Men's blazers. Um, and, and all sorts in the clothing ranges, quite expensive, but you have to put, and a clock for £50, oh my god, that's disgusting that is, but as you, I pop around more, see all the clothing as you can see, I didn't pick any up, I did check on one item, but I didn't pick it up, um, a Formula 1 top, not worth it really, but yeah, just showing you all the clothing items. Now we move on to all the furniture and the um, chairs and tables and chest of drawers which I have, it's a furniture shop plus you've got the clothing and the toys and the games etc you've also got your, your VCRs and your electronicals as well like, like your um, printers and your um, monitors as you can see you go around here your mirrors and here all your Electronical items, your DVD players, your TVs, they're quite expensive here um, and that. But I had a look anyway just to see comparing the prices and what they've got there and just go around a few bits and pieces. And yeah, it's a big charity shop. Right, I've just finished in British Heart Foundation, got one game. Oh, turn around. Got one uh, game, so. I'm just going to do so. What I'll do, I'll turn around. Pop you around that, um, that way. And walk down the main um, high street. Check out the um, decorations, etc., etc. Right, I've just popped outside of Oxfam, nothing in there. Uh, the Exxon one's much better, the Oxfam. Let me know your favourite charity shop. Put it in the comments below. Um, what one you get the most um, items from. If it's locally or quite far away. So down here to the left, you've got those three Natter Jacks in Kingston, Vans, etc. And then the Bental Centre. So what I'm going to do now is pop into two seasons, have a look around, and I'll catch you in a bit. Right, I'm popping down this way. Came from um, two seasons. The first of the three Natter Jacks there. That's the top. Got, um... Bands across the way, where I've got these shoes. Yeah, these bands. We have a week of uh, global Warhammer shop is always open. Not like the Epsom store. Um, where are we? Oh, now Jack, sell, sell, sale. Through there, I'll go at the end one because I'm looking at the shoes. Oh, 
you know, you had a third in that Ajax, so that was one, two, three. <laughs> no, I'll pop in here, and then what I'll do is go to the Bentle Centre. Um, before that, a charity shop just around the corner, which I'll go to, and I'll see you in a bit. Uh, this is the next um, charity shop, Cancer Research. It's about seven or, or, or eight or something like that, in um, Kingston Pond Thames. I'll go in there first and walk around to the Bennett Centre. As you can see, and have a look at their Christmas decorations and what they've got in store. Grab something to eat and then probably pop round to the oh, uh, probably pop round to the Market Square. Before it gets too dark. Plus the, um, the Kingston River. I didn't show you the other week when I went to see the Christmas lights switch on. I uh, went in here, didn't find anything, so what I'm going to do is pop across to the Ventil Centre, have a look at their decorations, etc, etc. It's now 20 past 4, looking at all the Christmas decorations, come out of the Bentle Centre and it's dark, pretty much pitch dark. The big tree that you saw when I went to the Christmas light switching um, on ceremony a few weeks ago, which I have uploaded to my YouTube channel. Do go and have a look. Uh, what we've got here. All, all the Christmas decorations. Got on this way to the Alpine Village. Um, then head across to the market square. Have a look at the market. This is Christmas market. This is by um, All Saints Church. I went around last time. You can see the Alpine Village. Pemming Road as you come in. Uh, the Kingston Bridge, I'm about here. Kingston Bridge is up there towards Hampton Court Palace. You see it right up the top. And then the um, rotundas here, plus the um, artwork, telephone boxes. Here um, is All Saints Church, all lit up, because it's um, quite dark, it's like, I think it's like half past five, no, five, arc, arc at me, half past four, something like that. <laughs> so I came out of the Bentall Centre and it was like, proper out there. And as, as I said earlier, I um, come out later due to having photographs taken of my items to sell, because I thought I'd better do them. 
in the in the light because it's bad weather tomorrow. Um, I'll just pop you around. Yeah, I say it's quite bad weather tomorrow, which is the I think it's the tenth. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Ross has done a, a, a video antique centre. Go and subscribe to Retro Reselling, Mr. Ross. Let me put it on. Antique Centre, George Ross, do go and subscribe. So what I'll do is I'll have it around down by the river just a little bit and a bit more around, see what time the chat shops close around here and then, yeah, so that'll be about it and hopefully you'll enjoy this vlog. I keep walking around this way, past All Saints Church. Um, yeah, All Saints Church. That's right. All the opening times want to come along. What they do? Um, church, Holy Communion, etc., etc., etc. Pop in this way around. Oh, I might go in there to see what they've got. I did that before in. Um, Kingston Point Thames vlog. Ooh, dear. Let us know what you're doing um, for Christmas and are you having friends over, etc., etc., or family? Do let us know. So, like using crafts, gifts, and fair, cool. Just a look around the Eden Crafts. Um, what tent? <laughs> right, this way you go round to the market with all the lights, as you can see. That's right. If just up a little bit round here, the entrance to the um, church or Saint's Church. Another entrance to the church. Um, the remaining bits of the market, most of the market shut up, I think. Something like that. Mexican food. Ultimate outdoors. Lipsy London Costa next. Yeah. Have a have it through, see what they do. I know, don't Charlton. Oh, no. oh. well, that's, that's the one you want, Stanford Bridge. Rod, Stanford Bridge, the best. <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, I forgot it's um, winter warmers, the beer and German food and beer. Keep a walk around this way. Uh, we've got the German sausages, German food. Just a 
sweet. That's right, all the sweets down here. Ah. Oh yeah, that's the Jewish head that I said that's a grade one listed building, I think. If I remember rightly. Oh. Have a go look. Canvas printing, cool. Okay, that's the German market done. Oh, here's a stage just to show you the stage area. All these things on the stage. Oh. Pop down towards Charter Key. As you can see, um, here there is the River Thames in front, all the ducks and stuff that are coming up, and the swans. Um, as you, you, you can see, I'll get some more footage of them in a minute. I'll go across that bridge, because you can go up there to um, Surbiton and back that way where all the lights are on the boats towards um, Ham I believe so next year I'll come back and I'll get you some footage in the day um, in the summer like I did this year or was it this year or was it last I can't remember now it might have been this year in the vlog Oh, here we go. This is the where well, the ducks and the swans lay. Do not feed them. Oh, bring it back down. As you, as you know, I like ducks and swans and stuff like that. So I will walk this way back to the main town and see um, what's about and the uh, Christmas lights and stuff. We have a bag full of um, anime books, picked up a pound each. There was ten of them. So it's basically what's called the Riverside, <laughs> Kingston Riverside. The bridge all lit up there. This way leads me up towards, um, down, down that way, leads me up towards um, where, near next, the gazebo, the classic bishop. To be fair, I would have a beer tonight, but we haven't got any in the house. <laughs> run out. Blame Andrew. Um, yeah, blame Andrew. He kept drinking it on his lives. Now oh, here we go. Bishop's Palace House. Oh, I'll zoom in. 
Could you, could you keep the set? Because that way it goes towards um, Hampton Court Palace, that way, by the riverside. So this, this, this basically what you call it, the Kingston Riverside. And so what I do, I get a bit more food around town, see if any chat shops are still open, and I'll catch you later. Just um, heading towards where the boat docks during the summer months, um, Turks Boatyard. What I'll do, I'll link their um, website down in the description below and the comments as well so it gives you a chance if you want to come um, and check it out next summer or whenever they actually officially open have a look on the board doesn't half get dark early god I say I came out of Bentwood Centre and it does get darkness oh they've taken it down private charters the Turks Pier um, www.turks.co.uk they've taken the actual board down for this year so you go along this way across get a boat to travel towards Hampton Court Palace um, or Richmond upon Thames Richmond's about an hour Hampton Court Palace about half an hour I think but down there if you want to go all the way down Canterbury Gardens it's right down there um, a big garden, you can sit in summer, it's lovely. I've, I've been through there before, but not today. But next summer I'll definitely go down there and show you, um, and earlier. So I'm making my way back past um, the Bentles, down to the um, main s square. Pop into a couple more shops, because I open until 9 o'clock I think. Most days now. And then what I'll do is see if the chat shops open if they are there, if not, not. To Princess Alice Hospice, where it's like um, 20 to 30 percent ex more expensive than any of the other. Um, chat shops in Kingston and even, even they're quite dear <laughs> so if you want to go don't go in there as I say I'm sure most um, towns and areas have um, expensive charity shops and do let me know in your town and area um, that is the expensive charity shop right, TK Maxx so I'm going to pop in TK Maxx the furniture and see what they've got clothes wise and I'll speak to you in a bit. If you can get to Princess Alice Hospice early, because they shut um, at five o'clock, I missed it. Dull, dull, dull. Dull, dull, dull. I'm silly me. If you can get there early, they do some cracking stuff at good prices. Toys, games, all sorts, as you can see right there. And I also missed Oxfam as well. This is the old London Road. Um, I missed it. <laughs> I shut early, I think. 4.30 in Oxfam. It's mainly books. Um, so, oh no, 5 o'clock. Oh well. It's my bad. So what I'll do... Oh, travel lodge. <laughs> don't forget, don't stay in this Sun Hotel in Hitchin. God, don't. Go to a travel lodge or a Premier Inn. The best night you can get. <laughs> oh, that's the um, 
Prince has a highly hospice, furniture and electrical if you can get there early. What I will do in the new year, around about January, come earlier and um, get to the other all the charity shops. So I just walk around, I want to pop into Wilkinson, just straight ahead, and then make my way home. And then it's coming. Someone's got some nice lights up. Show these. Then the um, red phone boxes. Which I did sh show you when I went to the museum. The Kingston Museum. Do check it out. I'll try and link all these down below if I can. Um, try one first to see. It. it was David Match, out of order. Um, see that, 1989. Uh, work restoration 2001. See, it was getting pretty. Um, how can I say? Battered by the wind and people. Kids. So, they've matched out of order, 2019, renovated, 30th anniversary, 3rd of April, 19. The telephone boxes, that's art, by the way, if, if you like. So this is where I am, right there, the old London Road. I was around uh, here somewhere, coming in about here before, um, what I showed you earlier on. So I'm going to make my way into Wilkinson's and then take the bus, 71 bus, home. I'll see you in a bit. I am now home. Thanks for watching the Kingston upon Thames vlog. We'll look around the markets, Christmas markets, go around a few charity shops, um, do a bit of Christmas shopping, etc., etc., etc. Like, share, and subscribe, and take care.